Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Liz here and today I have for you a Q&A about fitness. So a few days ago I ran a question on Instagram asking you guys to ask me about anything regarding fitness. So here it is. I have the question right here in front of me. I got a lot of questions and I'm very excited. So yeah, I picked out a few that I think are really important and will hopefully help you guys and give you guys a better understanding about me and fitness. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe because I'll be coming out with really fun content soon. And you're here already, so why not just hit the button down below it's like right there and also follow me on my instagram because that's where i'll keep you guys updated about what i will be posting okay let's get started with the first question and this is the question that i get asked the most like so much so i'm just gonna answer this one for all of you who are asking how's your diet like and what do you eat in a day there's also some questions that are asking about like do i restrict do i diet do i diet every day blah 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 so all in the same category i don't diet i don't restrict i'm not on any sort of restrictive meal plans i just don't think that dieting and restricting is sustainable and it's not really good for you in the long run what i eat in a day it varies but basically i eat very clean and wholesome foods just to give an example in the morning i'll either have some eggs or some smoothie bowl oatmeal or an avocado toast around those things it fills me up and it doesn't make my tummy upset so i just like to offer those meal choices and as for lunch i Wow, that's really hard because I'm thinking about all the dishes that I eat for lunch and this a lot. Um, you know, maybe I'll make a video for that. That'd be a good video idea since I get asked this question a lot. Yeah, maybe. So yeah, for lunch, I'll eat something like avocado toast because I just love it so much. Um, salads, chicken, I'll make some stir fry sometimes. So for dinner, we always have veggies. So lots of veggie, lots of protein. Also, I drink soup and porridge. I guess overall, what I eat a day, it's very clean. Not a lot of processed food. I also don't really eat a lot of fatty or oily foods. It just doesn't make me feel good, so I don't really like it anyway. Um, Yeah, that's basically like the outline of what I eat in a day. Oh, and one really important thing is that I drink a lot of water. And also drink tea too. I forgot what I was going to say, what the heck, okay Next question Someone asks, how much do you weigh? Not trying to be rude or anything, but your body is gold, so It's okay, that's not rude <laughs> I thought that was cute, they're so polite I don't really mind getting asked that And thank you, that's so sweet Um, so I weigh around 130 pounds I don't really know, that's like about how much I weigh Sometimes it's heavier, sometimes it's lighter, depending on how much I eat. I personally don't really weigh myself. I don't see it as something that's necessary for me. Fat and muscle have different density. If you're just going on the scale every single day to see how much like, you weigh, that's not healthy and that's not necessary. It shouldn't be something that you're really hard on yourself for. Next question is, I can't seem so bad. Do you do any specific exercises, cardio, diet to achieve your abs? Good question. So for working out, I do cardio every single day. I noticed that doing cardio really helps me keep my body toned and lean. It's different for everyone, but for me personally, cardio really helps me, so I do do it. And after, I'll start doing resistance training, sometimes yoga, pilates, and I do 10 minutes of abs every single day. Maybe sometimes I'll skip a day if it's like a rest day, but I basically do abs every day. And for diet wise, like I said earlier, I just eat clean and I don't eat processed food. I just don't really like how it makes me feel. So yeah. Okay, I get this question asked a lot. Do I need to drink any protein shakes to get abs like yours? <laughs> I don't know why I get asked this question so much. I don't drink protein shakes. I don't use that as like a substitution. I just personally don't think that you should ever really substitute a meal for a protein shake. I do use it as an addition in my meals. Like let's say for oatmeal, I'll put two tablespoons of my hemp protein powder into my oatmeal or maybe some tablespoon of that into my smoothie bowl. I just don't think that it should be a substitution. It should be more of an addition to your meals, if you know what I mean. There are better foods out there that can give you protein than a protein shake, and you shouldn't be reliant on that, you know? So no, like, I don't really drink protein shake to get abs. How long did it take you to get a six-pack abs? Okay, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, um, first of all, I do not have a six-pack. <laughs> That'd be nice, but I don't have one. But thank you for thinking I do. 
This is not even funny. Why am I laughing? Sorry, I, this is this is serious. No, I'm just kidding. I get asked this question a lot about how long did it take me to get abs and... Okay, here's the thing. I've always been a very active person ever since I was a kid. I started dancing since I was seven. Things, I don't know how long it took me to get abs. I felt like I've always had them. <laughs> I don't know how to explain. Just because I've always I've always been a very active person ever since I was little. I danced a lot and especially in high school, I danced so much. I was on the pep team, you know, song, cheer, flags and all that. And I was also on the dance team. Both of these teams were competitive teams. So we had training every single day, every week and we had competitions. So as a team, we were all very active and I did this for my whole high school career. I was active every single day of my my high school career so i can't give you like an exact time span of how long it took for me to get abs i don't know because i never kept track of that i'm just gonna tell you guys that i've been active since i was little and i'm still active now so what got you into fitness to begin with okay like i said earlier i've always been dancing since i was little very active and my family is pretty active family too we used to swim play tennis go surfing you know a hike i just have a very active family so that's always been like ingredient to me but i officially got into fitness about like just a year ago actually it was last year around january february 2019 i remember because i told myself to dedicate my time to fitness and to just be more conscious about what i'm putting to my body when i really think about it it's only been a year and i've seen so much growth and change in my life overall someone sent me like a bunch of hearts so this is a good question. Are there days where you'll eat snacks like cookies? Because sometimes I can't control myself. <laughs> that was so cute, <laughs> like cookies. Yeah, of course, we're all human. There's some days where I'm like, I really want to eat a freaking brownie right now. And I let myself have one when I think it's necessary. I don't think you should deprive yourself and like not eat ever. So no, of course that's okay to do. Like there are days where I do snack, um, unhealthy snacks. And I have to admit, I don't feel good after, like my tummy just feels weird. But I think like if it's just like a moderation in small portions, then it's fine. One thing is what I do when I have cravings. Let's say I was craving some potato chips. I'll literally just eat like three, four chips and I'll be satisfied. Before I'll be like, okay, I'm craving. That means I'm hungry for this potato chip. So I'm gonna eat like more than I need to. And then after I just feel like so bad, you know? I learned and realized that I honestly just want the taste of it. That's basically what I want. You'll be satisfied. It works for me all the time, so you should try it out, guys. Next question is, how did you develop a healthy relationship with food and your body? I feel like just recently, I finally developed a very healthy relationship with food and my body, and I'm so happy that I did, because before that, I really didn't have one. It took a lot of time and just a lot of forgiving. It sounds cheesy, but a lot of forgiving on your part. So with food, I would track my calories, I would be very hard on myself for what I ate, like constantly worrying about Oh my god, it's gonna make me fat. Oh my god, blah, 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 blah. So I learned what works for me. So you just have to put a lot of time and effort into understanding and listening to your body and what it's telling you. I've noticed that portion control works really well for me. I eat smaller portions with just smaller snacks on the side. That works well and I always feel so good. Like by the end of the day, I'm not bloated. I'm not feeling like icky in anything. I'm not feeling like too heavy. I just like, you know, eat what's the right amount for me that makes me feel good. And I stick to that. And about body image, um, I didn't always have a super healthy relationship with my body growing up i was never super skinny compared to a lot of my friends who are just thick skinny and i thought that was how i was supposed to look like so before when i was little i always thought like oh i should look like that because that's normal and that's what people think is pretty but yeah i always thought like being skinny was like what i needed to achieve because that's like goals you know <laughs> Ew. Yeah, I was really hard on my body before. It was insane like thinking about it back then. But eventually I did realize that that was not healthy, not okay. Why would I treat myself that way? That's just unacceptable, right? <laughs> just do not be negative to yourself. Please do not. It's, it's, again, like with food, it's not worth it. It's, 
it's your body why are you being so mean to it right like, okay guys i'm gonna stop here for today i think that those were pretty insightful questions that i think may help you guys for those who are wondering i had a lot of fun answering them and i hope i can help you guys i hope you guys are staying safe and practicing social distancing super important right now so yeah please be safe guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys real soon bye don't be shy press the button it was sorry just i thought it was funny